Welcome to our tutorial about block properties tables. Let's begin by creating a square. Now let's convert it to a block. New block. Let's select our square. Now let's pick a base point. Let's give our block a name. We'll call it block. And we'll click OK. OK, let's edit our block. Select it from the list. Click OK. I'm going to place two dimensional constraints for a horizontal and vertical side of the square. I'm not going to apply any geometric constraints right now. OK, let's select linear. Select this endpoint. Snap to this point, And let's drop it about here. I'll just accept the default value. Let's do the same for the vertical dimension. Place it about here, accepting the default value. Now let's go to the Actions tab and select Block Properties table. It's down at the bottom. The first thing we need to do is specify the parameter location. And you can select any location. Now we enter the number of grips, let's say 1, and press Enter. OK, let's click the Add Properties button. Shift select the two dimensional constraints and click OK. Now we need to populate our table with values. Let's say 5 by 5. Different values for the second row, 7 by 3. And the last row will be 9 by 6. Let's click OK and close the block editor. Save our changes. Select the block. And click this arrow for a drop-down list of the values for dimension 1, let's say 5 here, and our block updates immediately. The length of these two lines changed, and since we didn't have any geometric constraints, our rectangle didn't keep shape. Let's click the arrow again and select another value, let's say 7, and let's try 9. Let's edit our block now. Click Edit Block. Select the block and click OK. Now let's place some geometric constraints. We need two horizontal constraints. And let's apply two vertical constraints. Close the block editor. Then save our work. And let's test it out. Select the block. And let's cycle through the values for dimension 1. This time our rectangle maintained its shape. Let's make another change, Edit Block, select our block and click OK. I want to have this corner fixed in space. I'm going to use the Fix constraint and I'll apply it here. Let's also adjust the initial value for D1. We can do that right from the Properties palette. Let's make it 5. Let's do the same for the horizontal constraint. Properties Palette, select the constraint from the drop-down menu, and under Expression, enter 5, press Enter to accept. Let's deselect everything, and exit the block editor, save our work. Let's test the block out now. Click the arrow, choose a new value, looks good, and let's try the third value. OK, let's insert another block now, Insert Block. OK, place it about here. And as you see, our initial dimension is 5 by 5. When I choose 5 by 5 from the drop down menu, the shape of our square doesn't change. And this concludes our tutorial about using a block properties table.